Okay, I've got a new video for you. I'm going to try to make this quick because there's a lot to cover in this video. This one's about translating word problems into mathematical equations when we're dealing with finding percentages of numbers. So I'm going to just go, go over really quickly the percentages. Um, remember, a percent just means out of 100. So 25% can be written as a fraction, which is 25 over 100, and then we can reduce that to 1 fourth. But then it, actually for these problems, we're going to need the decimal form. So in order to change a fraction, I'm sorry, in order to change a percent into a decimal, we would actually start with the decimal here, move it over to the left two times. So that's going to give us 0.25 or 25 hundredths. Now don't forget when you have a one digit percent, like for example seven, you still have to move that decimal over two times and then fill in that space with a zero. So this is 0 0.07 or 7 hundredths. Another thing too that I want to go over really quickly is the wording in the word problems. Um, in order to change these words into mathematical equations, we need to know what they mean. So of always means times, is always means equals, and then the what is going to be your variable, the part that you're trying to figure out. So let's try some. <clears throat> Our first problem is a baker sold 35% of the cupcakes she baked. She baked 80 cupcakes. How many cupcakes did she sell? So I'm going to simplify this and write what is 35% of 80? Okay, then I'm going to transfer, uh, translate all of those into um, my mathematical terms. So there's my variable is means equals 35 percent I'm going to go ahead and change into a decimal so that I can work with it of means times and then my whole number stays the same so since I have my variable here on this side I just have to multiply these two together to find that my what equals 28 so out of the 80 cupcakes that she baked she sold 28 of them let me show you another a different way of writing this. A student earned a grade of 45% on a math test. He got nine questions correct. How many total questions were on the math test? So to simplify this one, my sentence is going to be 45% of what is nine. So let's translate those into our math terms. Again, with a percent, I'm going to turn it into a decimal so I can work with it. Of is times, what is my variable, is means equals, and then 9. Since I have the variable over here on this side, I'm going to divide by 45 hundredths on each side. When I divide, these two cancel out to give me W equals 20. Okay, and then there is one other way that these are typically seen in word problems. Give you the last one. So if our question reads, there are 30 cast members in a play. During rehearsal, only 20 of them showed up. What percent of the cast members showed up? So here's my simplified sentence. What percent of 30 is 20? Let's rewrite that using our math terms. This is my variable of 30 is 20. Again, since my variable is being multiplied, I have to do the opposite and divide both sides. These two cancel out. And this is actually going to give me a decimal. When, we, when you divide this, it gives you a repeating number. So it's 0.666, and that actually just repeats. So we can round that. But I have one more step to do. Since this is a decimal, I have to move that decimal back over to the right to turn it into a percent. So my W equals about 67%. So, I hope that was um, helpful for you. That was a quick overview of how to translate word problems into mathematical equations when you are trying to find uh, percentages of numbers. And there's several different examples for you. Thanks so much.